Ever wondered how you can transform your small space into a serene oasis? Welcome to Houseplants Love. Before we dive in, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Today we'll be exploring just that, turning your cozy corner into a lush haven with the right houseplants. From selection to nurturing to arrangement, we'll cover it all. Our goal? To empower you to cultivate a flourishing indoor garden. So, are you ready? Join us as we dive into the wonderful world of houseplants perfectly suited for compact living. Choosing the right plant is the first step to creating your indoor oasis. Each plant species has its unique features, benefits, and care considerations, all of which play a crucial role in the selection process. Succulents are a favorite because they're compact and low maintenance. They come in a variety of shapes and vibrant colors, adding an exotic touch to your space. Plus, they love sunlight and need very little water, making them perfect for sunny windowsills. If you want to learn about succulent care tips and tricks, you can check out our previous video link in description. Another great option is snake plants, also known as mother-in-law's tongue. These are super hardy and can thrive in all kinds of light from low to bright. Their upright growth makes them ideal for corners and narrow spaces, and they're great air purifiers. For a touch of elegance, consider English ivy. Its trailing vines look beautiful in hanging baskets or on high shelves, but it prefers cooler temperatures and indirect light, and for a tropical vibe, the heartleaf philodendron is perfect with its glossy heart-shaped leaves. It's forgiving and can tolerate various light conditions. Now, you've chosen your plants, and how do you arrange them in your space to maximize their impact? Well, the secret is all about using vertical space and considering the light requirements of each plant. Vertical gardening is a fantastic way to make the most out of limited space. Consider installing floating shelves on your walls for your plants, or use a tall, narrow shelf to create a plant tower. This can become an eye-catching feature in your home and keeps plants out of reach from pets or kids. Hanging baskets are another fantastic way to utilize vertical space. They can house trailing plants and add a touch of greenery to your ceiling. Remember to place your plants according to their light requirements. Those that need a lot of sunlight should be near windows, while those that prefer more shade can be placed further inside the room. Tiered plant stands are great for showcasing plants at different levels. Perfect if you have a variety of plants with different lighting needs. And don't forget about shelves. They're perfect for making use of wall space and corners. Mix and match plant types, sizes, and pots for a unique look, or keep it consistent for a minimalist vibe. Don't be afraid to experiment. As your plants grow and your collection expands, you'll find new ways to arrange them. With creativity, even the smallest spaces can become a green sanctuary. Now that you have your plants, let's talk about keeping them happy and healthy. Watering schedules can be tricky. Too much or too little can harm your plants. Most houseplants prefer their soil to dry out a bit between waterings. A good rule of thumb is to water when the top inch of soil feels dry. Using a moisture meter can help. Next, let's talk lighting. Some plants, like succulents, love bright, direct sunlight, while others, like ivy, prefer shade. Make sure to research your plant's specific light needs and place them accordingly. Now let's move on to maintenance. Pruning, fertilizing, and repotting. Regularly check your plants for dead or yellowing leaves and prune them away. There are several common houseplant problems and their solution. If you want to learn, check our previous video, link in description, and I button. Fertilize every few weeks during the growing season for a nutrient boost. And as your plants grow, they might need a bigger pot. Even with the best care, issues can pop up. Look out for pests, drooping leaves, or browning tips. Most problems can be fixed with a bit of troubleshooting. Low humidity can cause yellowing and curling leaves, while brown tips often signal low humidity or inadequate watering. Monitor and adjust the moisture levels to keep your plants healthy. Remember, your house plants are living beings that require your love and care to thrive. So keep an eye out for these common issues and you'll be well on your way to creating your own indoor oasis. All right, green thumbs. We've covered a lot today, from selecting the right house plants to arranging them in your space and even how to keep them thriving. But our journey in the world of indoor plants is far from over. We have a lot more to explore together, and we need your support to keep these videos coming. So if you enjoyed this content and found it helpful, please give this video a big thumbs up and share it with your fellow plant enthusiasts. Your feedback helps us grow and continue to provide you with the best plant care tips. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. By doing so, 
you'll be the first to know when we upload new videos on maximizing your indoor plant space. Remember, each new subscriber is like a new sprout in our ever-growing garden. So, let's cultivate this community together. In our next video, we'll dive deeper into the world of exotic houseplants and how to care for them. Stay tuned and keep growing.